Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be opening the February Glossy Box and we might be comparing it to see if it's better than a free gift you get from Ulta. Alright, so this is this month's Glossy Box for February and it costs about $21. I don't know if they're shipping. I can't ever keep track. But it's supposed to contain a mix of full-size and deluxe sample items. Last month, I don't know how true that was, but we will get into this box and see if it's better. So the first thing we have is the infamous QR code. We will see this week, A, if it scans, B, if it takes us to something besides just the Glossy Box website, and C, if it's the actual magazine associated with this box and not something else. But first, what's in the box? So our first item does look full size, which is promising. So this is the Christoph Robin Instant Volumizer. I was excited about this. I like volumizing things because as you can see, I have no volume in my hair. And then I saw with rose water. And I am guessing, oh, <coughs> <coughs> yep, it smells very much like rose, so I don't know how good it is, and I never will. Next, <laughs> we have, it looks like a powder, banana setting powder, and it's not in a container. What? Bella Pierre. Shouldn't it be in like a box? This seems odd. Just a free floating. Oh my goodness. And now I'm covered in it. It looks like that. And it's everywhere. It looks really dark. I guess it kind of goes away. Oh my gosh, it is all over my black pants. And it is very yellow. Okay, and because it's like spilling everywhere, it won't. It won't thread back on. So that's fun. I can't shut it. It's everywhere. You can see it. It does like blend in, which is probably nice. So that if you have like a slight cast, um, it's not white. Unfortunately, um, the white cast <laughs> goes the best with my skin tone. Ugh, I, I'm irritated by that. Okay. Our next item is teensy. It's by Lottie London, and it says it's an ombre blush in the shade Haze. I don't, why, why would it be called ombre? Is it slightly? Maybe it's slightly lighter at the bottom. Maybe it's more apparent in like a full size. You can kind of see the color. I kind of like the color. A little pinker than I usually do, but fun. Our next item here, I have no idea what is the brand and what is the item. It says Wonder Love Clarity and it says Figs and Rouge. Um, it's like an ampule. I don't know what it's supposed to do. Oh, it's supposed to glow, revitalize, smooth, and hydrate. Ooh, it's definitely glowy. Oh my goodness. It smells like something. Oh my gosh, I can't place it. It's like sweet and fruity. I really like it. It just rubs in. It feels really nice. So I really like this. Um, I'll definitely try it. I wonder what the brand is and what the item is. If we had a little magazine, it would tell us. Okay, our last item is by Pixie, and it is a glow tonic. I think I've gotten this a couple times before. Um, it's just this little bottle, and it's an exfoliating toner. So, definitely gotten that one before. Um, I don't think it's bad, but now we will attempt this. It's actually taking me somewhere. And it's just to the generic Glossy Box website. Gives us no information 
about the products. It doesn't tell us which one of these is the brand and which one of these is the product name. And I'm really irritated. Obviously, if you saw my last video, you will know that contacting them to try to get this information is time consuming and useless. So thanks for that glossy box. Now we will see if the free stuff I got from Ulta with a $50 purchase is better than a glossy box. So I got this buxom set from Ulta when I ordered my foundation and we will see if this set is better than what comes in a glossy box as just a free gift. So our first item is the Full Force Plumping Lipstick and the shade is Dolly Dreamer. So it's just this tiny sample lipstick. You can get quite a bit. It's in this fun shade. I do like the shade. Sort of a purpley pink. So that's fun. Item number one. Our next item is the Booksum Plump Shot. So this is a collagen infused lip serum. And I wonder if this one burns like, like the Too Faced one that like makes you feel like your lips are on fire. It is very tiny. It smells kind of minty, but also like plastic. Like mint plastic. I'm wearing lipstick, but I could probably put it sort of on over. It feels nice, and it tastes kind of minty, and it isn't feeling like fire on my face. <laughs> Alright, so our next item is the Buxom, oh, I made it fall out, Power Line. So this is a plumping lip liner in the shade Hush Hush Henna. So here is the liner, and you have one of those, I always associate this shape with eyebrow pencils. So you have the eyebrow pencil shape. Oh, but you know what? It actually, in real life, this looks better as a combo. I don't know why this is picking up a lot of orange, at least. Um, on my camera but it isn't that orange in person like it looks good next to the lipstick which is nice and then our last item is a mascara same brand obviously uh, volumizing lengthening I mean everything that mascara always says it does you never get one that's like eh. It'll sort of turn them black, but it won't do a lot. Although that's what some of them do. Packaging is cute. Whoa. Okay, I kind of love this wand. It's like in between the, the fluffy and the spiky. It is so cool. I really want to try that because I've been loving spiky wands lately. They really seem to... I don't know, like keep it from clumping. Um, so those are our items that we got for free from Ulta. Now, I don't think it's necessarily better than this month's glossy box. I think it has been better than some of them. Uh, this one actually, I do see full size products. I do see some value. This is a joke. I don't know what this is or what it's meant to be. It's like the cheapest packaging that is, okay, I finally got it closed and now I can't open it because it's cross-threaded and it's everywhere. There was nothing holding it down. It actually looks like, almost like something you got used. Like I wouldn't buy used makeup, but that's what it feels like. Like someone's already messed with it. Um, so that is awful and I think it would have been better without that. I do love this. It seems like it would be expensive, 
I don't know because they won't tell me. I don't like this because it has rows, but that's not really their fault. So mostly I like this and I kind of like this. Maybe the books and stuff is better. <laughs> oh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, I'm sorry about the mess with the QR codes and I just, I don't know what to do about it. It's irritating me, but everything I've tried hasn't worked. I did look this up because I did like it and I was curious about it. Figs and Rouge is the brand, Clarity is the product, and the website I found it on said the MSRP is 42 pounds, so probably 50 or so dollars, which isn't bad for a $20 box, especially since I do want to use it. But again, there's also the stuff I don't care to use and I'm still really irritated by the card again let me know what you think in the comments below I would love to hear your opinions if you haven't yet subscribed I would love it if you could it really helps me out and I'll see you in the next video bye